What is going on everyone? I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com bringing you another Skylander Giants unboxing video. This time I only have one figure to unbox for you guys so this video won't be too long. Uh, if, as you can see this one is a tech element. This one is actually a light core Drewbot. Now of all the Skylanders I currently own, this is the only element of which I do not have. So after I unbox this figure I'm going to have at least one Skylander per element. So that's a good score. Like I said this is a light core figure indicated right here by the sticker. If you don't know what a light core Skylander is, uh, these go for about $12, so $2 more than a basic figure will cost. And basically it's a stronger version from the previous form. And of course when placed upon the portal of power, they do a massive area effect which basically destroys all of the smaller enemies and do some damage to some of the bigger enemies. So without me talking, let's go ahead and uh, unbox this, shall we? Just like all my other unboxing videos, after we get this out of the box, I'll be giving you guys a closer look, just like I've done. Go ahead and move this out of the way. As you can see, I have quite a few Skylanders. So I will be doing another video after this showing you guys each of the Skylanders I currently have and that are going to be featured within my walkthrough. As always, you have paper with instructions showing you guys how to set up Skylanders on the PC. And of course, the figure itself. And of course, the light core figures, if you did not know, are ready to light up. So here is the light core Drew bot. Like I said, I'll be giving you guys a closer look. Um, just give me a minute. And right here, I'm pretty sure this is where it lights up, but we're going to find out uh, towards the end of this video as I place this character on the portal of power. Then, of course, you got the card. I don't, like I said, I don't like how they package the cards in these. It's really hard to get out without trying to damage them. Oh, well, I actually managed to get that out without damaging it, so that's pretty cool. So as you can see, it comes with a holographic card. I'll be giving you guys a closer look here in just a second. And of course, you got the sticker, which you could peel this off and place it on your character sheet to indicate that you have that character. And then you got the code in the bottom, which you will log in to Skylanders.com, input your character, and you can level up your character that way. So let's go ahead and bring the camera down and give you guys a closer look at Lightcore Drewbot. Now before I get to close up shots, let me go ahead and show you guys how to mark down so you guys know which characters you got. This uh, You get one of these every time you get a starter pack, which I got this one from the Giants pack. And so as you guys know, you do get one of these stickers. What are these stickers for? Well, you can place this one on pretty much whatever you want, but the bottom part also comes off, which has the barcode and serial code and all that. Basically what you would do is that you go find the Skylander you got. In this case, I just unboxed the Drew Bot, which is located over here in the Tech Element Skylanders. And I'm just going to place this where the box is. And boom, that indicates I have that character. Just give you a quick uh, glimpse. I know it's hard to see the characters, but I'm just going to go over which ones I have. I do have Double Trouble, Igniter, Cinder, Tree Rex, Zook, Jetback, Flashwing, Light Core. Gil Grunt, Chill, and Light Core Drew Bot. So let's go ahead and give you guys a close up. So now we're going to be taking a closer look at the card and figure itself. So we're going to be starting with the card. As you can see on the image of the card, it looks really, really awesome. So much detail on it. And of course, since it's a Light Core figure, it is holographic. So pretty cool there. If you like shiny cards, then Light Core figures may be your thing. So this one is a tech element indicated right here in the corner. And it also states Light Core, which is right here pretty cool and there's its stats you have the attack of 65 defense of 80 speed of 65 so pretty good speed and really good defense and I'm not sure what the bottom is where the clover is I still haven't found that out surprisingly after this whole time but uh, yeah pretty cool looking character uh, card so let's go ahead and take a look at the figure itself uh, I'm gonna have to fix the autofocus really quick now just give me a second I'll be fixing the autofocus And it looks like right there. So this is the Light Core Drew Bot. Really cool looking character. Like I said, each of the characters are represented on the stand, or in this case the base. As you can see, you have a whole bunch of little gadgets down there. So really, really cool. Take a look all around the character. Really nice. I looked. Uh, I saw like five of these, and of course with 
figures, you always have to kind of get a closer look at the details. Or in this case, looking at the figures because sometimes they have missed paint, uh, like paint where there shouldn't be, or just crappy looking paint jobs. And this was actually one of the best ones I found. So really cool. I like the color scheme, especially on the wings. Really nice. You got that tech looking going on. And right here, I believe this is where it lights up because if, if you guys know, the light core figures do light up. Which this crystal right here in the back, I believe, is what's going to light up. But we're going to find out here in just a second when I place this character on the portal power so that we guys have a look of what the character looks in the game. So really cool, like I said, that is the light core Drew bot. So let's go ahead and take a look how this character looks in game. And destroy. Well done, Portal Master. Destroyed. 